What did I tell you? Hey everyone, in today's video, we're going to be talking about that 25th anniversary video that Monolith Soft just recently dropped to commemorate their 25th anniversary. And before we kind of jump in into the implications of what I believe this video is leading us on to believe about what is next for Xeno in, in general, I just want to take a moment to appreciate the pure artistry on display in this video. I mean, very rarely does a company make cinematics like this to commemorate little occasions like this. I mean, 25th anniversary, yeah, pretty big deal. You know, you were founded 25 years ago, but it's not like, you know, you just sold a game that sold 10 million copies. It's like, it's a big deal, but you know, I mean, it was your 24th anniversary last year. So it's like, you have an anniversary every year, right? But 25 is special because, you know, it's like, yeah, kind of a big deal, but very rarely, does a company make a full-on cinematic to celebrate something like this so i just want to take a second to appreciate the fact that they did this and how it kind of stirred us up as you know xenoblade fans and xeno fans in general including those xeno saga and xenoblade x fans too and get them excited and just in general you know get them antsy again you know because nothing's really been happening lately and so the video uh, really cool, you know, really cool. It was really cool to see uh, Noah and Mio playing their flutes. Uh, it was neat to see uh, Shulk and Fiora, short-haired Fiora, interestingly enough, uh, back. Uh, and then we got to see Rex, Pyra, and Mithra. So it's like, obviously this scene isn't canon, but uh, very clearly they are taking the ending of each game as like the timeline as to when we're seeing these characters. So we see Fiora, you know, not mechanized anymore. And then we see Pyra and Mithra split. So obviously, you know, there's uh, some sort of continuity here. And also Noah and Mio don't have their tattoos anymore. And so they've escaped the endless now, right? So uh, that was cool to see. And then obviously you get to see Elma from Xenoblade Chronicles X with her Xenoblade 2 model, uh, which I'm not a huge fan of, but uh, you know, it's probably the most modern model that they have of her. Although I think the Xenoblade X model looks better, but uh, regardless, it probably would have looked out of place. And then Cosmos is in here as well, with also her Xenoblade 2 model. Uh, I like this model more than I do the Elma model for her. Uh, I think this model also makes sense more so because, you know, I don't think Modelist Soft still has the Xenosaga 1, 2, or 3 Cosmos model in their uh, database or anything. I mean, they might, but, you know, it, it would look out of place. Either way, you know, uh, it was really cool to see her. And I do like, I've always liked her Xenoblade 2. Uh, design personally, but it's not my favorite. And so yeah, we see Cosmos and Elma just right there. Okay, uh, so this was really cool to see just seeing pretty much most of the main characters uh, throughout, you know, the Xeno franchise was a really magical moment and hearing Future Awaits playing was the perfect song to uh, kind of be the backdrop to this movie because you know it was the ending theme to future redeemed the most recent release and so this is a really cool video uh, the cool thing about it is as the bubbles or like the circles the little universes i'm assuming are like flying around in space uh you see like xeno saga episode one uh right off the bat you see saga episode two saga episode three and as well as monolith soft's other games that they've made throughout the years that are non-Xeno and uh, it was cool to see. Now enough of that, okay? Enough of like appreciating the video and you know uh, praising it. Let's jump into what I believe this is implying because I have a couple strong convictions as to what this is implying. But first of all, let's just delve into what I think right now, okay? Cosmos and Elma showing up in that final cutscene in the grass with Noah, Mio, Shulk, Rex, and everyone else. I think that's genuinely pointing to a remake to Xenoblade X and or the entire Xenosaga trilogy, both. Because, let me tell you something, okay, obviously this is just a 25th anniversary video, right? It's not like a teaser necessarily for anything coming in the future. The cutscene at the end is not canon, obviously. You know, it's just, it's just a fun video for us to watch and just get hyped for their 25th anniversary and just appreciate what they've made over the course of the last 25 years, right? However, okay, <laughs> I'm going to tell you something, okay? Takahashi and just Monolith Soft in general are intelligent storytellers they are intelligent people in general making intelligent games okay and takahashi in particular too i mean he leaves details 
in his games for a reason, right? Like he does things for a reason. He's a very decisive person. And so when I see them literally bring back these character models and just these characters in general, alongside the main protags of their Xenoblade trilogy, right? So you have Noah, Mia, Rex, Shulk, Pyramith, or Fiora. When I see the fact that they are putting Elma and Cosmos right beside those characters, right? And they're also from Xeno Games. That tells me Monolith Soft places importance on these characters just as much as a Rex and or a Shulk and or a Noah and Mio, right? Because this was a 25th anniversary video, they could have easily put characters from their other games that, uh, you know, aren't Xeno in that final cutscene with Noah and Mio, right? Because this is a Monolith Soft 25th anniversary video, right? Not a Xeno 25th anniversary video, technically right? So they could have easily put in characters from those games with Noah and Mio and, and Rex and Shulk, Pyramithra and everyone else. They could have easily have done that. But no, 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 they deliberately only put the other Xeno characters that kind of represent the other Xeno games that they haven't been doing or, you know, have been ignoring, like Xenoblade X and Xeno Saga. They deliberately put Elma and Cosmos here, when they could have put the thousands of other characters from their other games, or, you know, more like hundreds, but you get my point. Okay, Cosmos and Elma are deliberately here for a reason. They treat them as protagonists who represent those old Xeno franchises as well, and they deem them as important. So, what this tells me personally is that Monolith Soft places some sort of importance on not only Xeno as a franchise, because they deliberately, okay, made the final cutscene Xeno only, and that tells me they placed priority on the other Xeno games too. So, what does this tell me? Since we are seeing Cosmos and Elma here, I think this screams remakes as opposed to sequels. What is Xeno? What are Xenoblade games? What is Xenosaga? What are these things? They're games, right? These are video games, okay? What do you do with a video game? You play it. It's a video game you play. You grab a controller, turn on the TV, you play it, right? Now, how do you play a game? Well, you get a controller and you boot up the console, okay? Well, I can't exactly play the characters from the game that you are featuring in this video if I don't have a new console that these games are on and available on. So, in my opinion, this is screaming the fact that a Xenoblade X, you know, remake or port or something is in the works. They place importance on this Elmo character, they are acknowledging the game, and Xenosaga is even a bigger deal. Okay, they are literally acknowledging Cosmos, right? Besides the f like, if you just ignore Xenosaga for a moment, Cosmos is just a random rare blade <laughs> from Xenoblade 2. She's just an optional character that you can potentially collect as a rare blade, right? The rarest blade in the game. I think they're just going to make remakes of both of those games, potentially connect them to the current Klaus saga that they created with Xenoblade, and then the next Xeno game that they make in 2025, it's just gonna be a completely new thing that brings everything together. Again, like, maybe there's not gonna be anything Xenosaga or Xenoblade X in the future, but either way, if there's anything that we can take away from this 25th anniversary video, it's the sheer confidence that Monolith Soft has going into the future and what they're going to do next. And so for that, we can only have our hopes high. Guys, thanks for watching. Also, check out those Zeno cards that I made for you in the description. They're kind of like cards based on the Zeno franchise and, and stuff like that. I'm releasing new ones pretty much every single month. I put a lot of work into these. Go check it out in the description. It'll lead you to my site where you can see them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Also, rip Xeno Gears.